Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to schedule a Python script to execute at a certain time or maybe at an interval. And the way we're gonna do that is with a cron job. Now, if you're not familiar with cron jobs or cron tab, I will definitely explain that in this video. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Okay, so just to make sure we're all on the same page with what cron jobs are, cron tabs is, then we're gonna do a simple example and then we'll incorporate Python into that. So we all know that there is a date command which just simply spits out the date on the command line here. Let's add a cron job, which is again, a way to schedule the execution of a command and we're gonna execute the date command when we do that. So um, basically what that's gonna be is let's take the output from date the date command and redirect it to a file in the temp directory called test.txt. Okay, so if we do that on the command line, hit enter, we won't see anything, but if we look at uh, temp test.txt, you'll see that the date has been added to that. So 706.58 p.m. UTC. If we execute this again, our temp.txt temp test.txt file will update with the current date. So that's just a way for us to track that the cron tab is actually executing. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this to a cron tab. So this is precisely the command that we wanna execute. So let's copy that and we'll type in cron tab dash E for edit. And I'm gonna use Vim to edit my cron tab. This is just a once and done um, selection here the first time you run cron. So I'll type two here. And down here, this is just all comments explaining how cron jobs work. Um, but what we want is to basically every minute of every hour of every day of the month of every month of the year of every day of the week, we want to execute that command. And if you're not familiar, um, well, let's 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 go ahead and save these changes. Uh, just so we can go ahead and schedule that cron job to run. And what we're gonna do in the background is just watch that file um, to see it change in in real time. Or actually, what, what the watch command does is executes the command, the cat command every two seconds. So right now this is what we see in our uh, temp.txt file, temp slash text, test.txt, whatever. What we see in the temporary file, that's the time. Uh, but when the cron job runs, we'll see that update to the current time at that moment. Okay, but back to what I was saying, sorry if I'm all over the place. Um, if you're not familiar with cron, this is kind of how this works. So this, there's five different um, slots here. The first slot is the minute. So if you want your cron to run maybe at uh, 1230, you would type in 30 space zero for midnight or 12 for noon. And then this third slot here is the day of the month. So uh, it could be the first of the month, the 15th of the month, or you can do like the first comma second of the month. And then um, the month, one through 12. So January, February, March, and then the day of the week. So uh, zero is Sunday, six is Saturday. And it also says that some systems um, seven is Sunday. So that's that's a very quick overview of cron in this example in this case we're just going to keep it simple just execute it every minute on an interval uh, but by combining these five different slots you can do pretty much any type of interval that you could possibly imagine um, so that's cron syntax uh, and it, you can see here if you remember the time from before it was updated from um, whatever it was to 7.09.01 p.m utc and very good, it just updated to 7.10.01 p.m. UTC. So at the top of every minute, basically one second after, it's executing our date command and piping that or redirecting that into temp slash test.txt. Okay guys, now let's combine what we know about cron jobs and cron tab with Python. So let's create first a Python script, a simple Python script that um, does something similar to what we were kind of doing, but this could be any type of Python script whatsoever that you want to execute at an interval. So um, let's make in, again, we're in our the root directory here. Let's make a Python script called rand.py. And I'm just gonna use my cheat sheet over here to paste in some Python code. And we'll execute this in a second, but basically we're gonna get the current date 
and we're gonna pick a random number between one and 100. And inside of the temp directory, we're gonna create a file called rand.txt and spit out um, the time dash your random number is something. All right, so let's save that script and let's execute it once just so we know what to expect. So we'll type Python three rand.txt and uh, rand, oh, right, Python three rand.py. That's, that's the name of our Python script. Um, so let's go ahead and look in the temp directory. We should have the rand.txt file that we generated from executing that Python program. And you'll see that it says the current date and time and your random number is 68. So if we go ahead and execute that again, what it's gonna do is add another line to that file. So your random number is 55 and that was just, oops. Oh boy, uh, sorry about that. Let me make this to the appropriate size. Okay, so that was just a uh, couple seconds later, one second later, your random number um, is 55. All right, so um, let's combine the two, like I was saying. So what we need to make sure of when we execute cron jobs, cron tabs, is make sure we're using the absolute path to everything. That includes Python and the file that you wanna execute. So let's make sure that we know where everything exists. So our um, rand.py file is at slash root slash rand.py. And if we do which Python three, we'll see that our Python uh, three program exists at user bin Python three. So when we go back into cron tab dash E, we wanna use those full paths. So again, this will be every minute, every hour, every day of the month, every month of the year, and every day of the week. We want to execute, um, and I'm gonna say user bin Python three, and then at root, we root at, in the root directory, there's a Python script called rand.py. So, um, and a good practice would also be to test out the absolute path. So let me copy that and we'll, we'll go ahead and save this too, but I just wanna make sure that everything matches up. So let's execute that here because that's what cron job is gonna run and it works so, and we can double check that with um, do, 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 cat, cat ran.txt. So there we go. So we got another line in there and let's check the time right now. So let's see if it made it fourth entry and it did. So that just executed at 9.16.01 and we'll check the time. So in approximately 45 seconds, this will execute again. So let's just fast forward through that. Okay, and we're back and we're looking at eight seconds to go, three seconds to go, five seconds to go. Let's look at the file right now. Uh, we have four entries in here. Our last random number is 87. And now it is after the top of the minute. So let's look at the file again. We have our next entry in here at 1701 and our new random number is 58. So hopefully that gives you a good idea about how to combine um, cron tabs with Python scripts. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. The, the one important thing I just want you guys to remember is to use those absolute paths. You just don't want it to say Python and then the name of your script because uh, cron might be using a different user and they might not have access to those same directories. So um, basically that's just a, a long weird way of saying just use the absolute paths just to be safe. Guys, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps with my channel. If you wanna see more videos from me in the future, definitely consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.